Hi families, this is our week at a glance for the week after spring break. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I have, um, but it's Sunday and I am definitely ready to get back in the swing of things. So hopefully the kiddos are feeling ready as well um, and everybody's feeling rested and you got that quality time. I wanted to make a quick week at a glance video to just go over the core four subjects that we'll be going over this week. And then I'll dive a little bit more into the minor assignments that we have as well. So for ELA on Monday, we are taking the Google document that they made last Friday, which has all of the paragraphs for their informational writing, and we're putting it into an article format. And this is really to teach them that you can write an informational piece that does not have to be a five paragraph essay. So even though we can have it in that format, we can transfer it into an article format, and it's still informative writing. So um, that kind of hits the craft and structure in one way. Um, learning standards for fifth grade. So taking your writing and manipulating it into different structures. So we'll be doing that. And then on Tuesday, Tuesday through Friday, we are going to begin our poetry unit. So this is kind of an introductory week where we get to learn about the different types of poetry, see what they know. And then one day they actually get to practice writing a short poem. In math, we are going to be adding and subtracting our decimals to the thousandths place value. Um, in science, we are going to be, last week we did like a big broad overview and this week is more in depth on the hydro and atmosphere. Um, so the first two spheres that we uh, mentioned last week. And in social studies, we are going to talk about, it's kind of coined the shot heard around the world. So the beginning of the Revolutionary War, they have a couple of videos. One is kind of talking about it through song and then one is just like a one minute or so clip um, that goes over what that means <clears throat> and how that phrase come up, came about. And then they have a Liberty Kids video to watch and some little assignments throughout the week for that topic. Um, for the minor assignments throughout the week, I've gotten a couple of questions about roots and affixes if they're still doing them and they are. So each week it's on the main page where it says like the daily tasks. It's not posted under the um, assignments because they have it and I don't want them to keep remaking copies because what I had realized partway through the year was every time I posted it they made a new copy and then they didn't have it all on one document so I have not posted it anymore for quite a while but it is still an expectation that they do it and that is why it's on the main homepage as a daily task. Um, they have their daily reading response journals again this week as well as their uh, what's the last one? Hmm. Oh no, this happens all the time. Well, they have their daily deep reading response and um, for that specifically, oh, sorry, their social emotional writing prompts is the other one, but um, sticking to their reading response journals, I made a note in the assignment, um, sorry that you just had to watch my brain totally figure that out, but um, I did put a note in the reading response journals. I'm noticing that they've gone from being like really thorough to the last few weeks, kind of being like one to two sentences at most and doing like the same reading response menu choice every single day. So in the directions, I reminded them that they need to be three to five sentences in length. They need to restate the question from the prompt as their opening statement and have their own thoughts so um, instead of just saying the same thing Monday through Friday and answering the same question all week, if you wouldn't mind just kind of maybe looking over that and making sure that those are, you know, being done accurately. This is really important for me when I am looking at their range of reading and um, the depth and complexity complexity of what they read. So to make sure that they understand everything that is in the text that they've selected, that it's, you know, like on level for them and maybe not too confusing or frustrating. And so, and it just helps with small group discussions as well. If I look and I see that they have the same response Monday through Friday, it's really hard for me to ask any more in-depth questions about what they are reading. Um, 
So their social emotional writing as well started again this week. We took a break from it the week before um, spring break just because there was so much writing that was going into their informative piece. I didn't want to overwhelm them and have those extra two assignments that we typically do on top of everything else. So um, those are both back this week and I think that's all that I really have to cover. Um, I do have a couple of, I have one more doctor's appointment actually this week, but it's at 3.30 so it should not interfere with the one to three open Zoom time. Um, after that, that should be my very last appointment, fingers crossed. And um, so if I have to leave maybe 15 minutes early at most, that might be the case. Um, it would be on Monday if I do need to, but I should be fine um, to stay until three o'clock. But as always, it's best to not wait until, you know, like 2.50 to ask for help if possible. Um, but I will be there from like at least one to 2.45 or 2.50. Um, yeah, that's all of um, the things that I needed to update you on. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please shoot me a message and I would be happy to help you.